Try these batteries for a bit. See how these go. Really do need to get more re new rechargeables. Now I have changed a couple of things as I've just walked in the door. And just turn that down low so then I can check it every now and again. <sighs> I walked in, turned everything on, laptop, Xbox, whatever. Um, uh, changed the stream name for Fire Team. Uh, reset day for Warframe, so it is Monday week, dailies as usual. Uh, if I get through this, and uh, how can I say get through this game? I was saying to get through this game I should really get a rechargeable backpack or something for this controller but we'll get around to that okay so now the point being here is a few things happened I added the link to the chat that's one talking point um, I changed the name of my stream to Cosmic Games because Cosmic Arcom wasn't getting the right message. Because um, I'm playing games. That's the whole point. I need to change my name on Xbox to Cosmic Games as well. There's still a few things that needs to be changed. Like the links. It's still Cosmic Arcom. My Discord's Cosmic Games. My Twitter or X is Cosmic Games. And my YouTube is Cosmic Games. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, I'll see if I can work on changing things over slowly. That's that out of the way. The link I've added is to do with Legacy of Key and Soul Reaver. That I found when I was over at my Twitter, that it was put up by... Eh, what do you call that? One of the Twitter... Or X posts from Legacy of Cain. What was it? Who put it up? Let me see. Legacy of Cain fandom. I think it was it put it up. Yep. Was it that it was fandom? I think it put it up. Yeah. That's why I'm saying Twitter or X was is a lot better to get updates faster on your when you're playing your games and stuff. As well as Reddit. What's that? Nosgoth News Network. New graphic no novel, yeah. So that's the link I've put up. How do we read out it there? It's just a graphic novel. It's a prequel, but I think, in my view, it's a tester. Oh, we've we'll got a chatter. Yeah, Leon. Why not Leon sixty nine? Didn't expect that. Thanks for the hello. Um, I don't know if you've been following anything to do with Legacy of Kian. And uh, as I was saying there. Uh, the prequel. The graphic prequel. I think that's a tester from Embracer Group to see what what the be the the fan base is like. That's why they're putting it out there. They did. They also tagged that survey from twenty twenty two. In the 
in the article. And it's crowdfunded on Kickstarter. A survey in 2022 about the franchise suggesting the new legacy of Keen Games could be in the works. He's, uh, we saw the news of our survey shared across social and press platforms and we really felt this was a great way to reignite this passionate fan community with this legendary PC console game series, said Phil Rogers, CEO of Embracer's 12th operative group. Rest assured we hear you loud and clearly and we will continue to update you on the what if question mark possibilities ahead for the legacy of Kane in the future. Apparently they received overwhelming 100,000 responses from the survey. I've seen that. Seems fun, yeah. It, I haven't tried the game yet. It's obviously because they're older. Is if you're if you're not depends what type of games you like. Obviously, this one's completely different. Space style, the Fire Team Elite. Uh, I would play that Warframe, sure. As you know, completely different as well. Things have moved on since then. The the Nozgoff one the PvP version that they were going to bring out could have kicked off but mostly adventure and MMO yeah well it would have been an adventure wouldn't it type I think platform there and then puzzles and stuff in it and Soul Reaver and sort of long M lines but the MMOs have obviously took over as you know um, but sure, you can check it out, have a read of it. It's just a graphic novel if you read anything like that. The in games I play lately are DC Universe and Fortnite, yeah. I've been trying to get over to DC Universe. I've been trying to pull myself away from Warframe. The dailies have been eating me alive. DC Universe, I enjoyed the whole villain... Uh, hero dynamic so good it's so good it's so worth it I, I personally think Fortnite though because it's a PvP it's, to me it's it's the old classic rocket launchers and sniper rifles and so I would try to stay away from it good fun yeah for something for a change but definitely DC online 100%. I would say it would even rival some of them. Other games. What was the other ones? Like our Suicide Squad I keep saying about came out. Um, There was another one there I was looking at. That was... It can rival as well. And it's it's over 10 years old as well. It could even rival Warframe like. So it could. I would, I would personally think. If they, if they were working on it. A water tune, and even though it's a healer, I have a set for a tank roll. It's things like that as well, yeah, the class system in it. Uh, I haven't been in, like, see, now if you've seen any of the videos I was doing, like, I haven't got that deep yet. I've only just picked up on the, the, the class rules. Like, I made the fire guy for the hero, and I made a magic one the villain and it says the magic is a healer type as far as I know and on your setup you can make him a healer and then the, the fire one you can make him a tank roll but I've just made them damage the both of them so I've got them to level 30 isn't it the two of them as far as or else the villain isn't 30 yet but I enjoyed the wee story.
hero side is that what most people play see i i don't know enough about it i just enjoyed the whole like it's definitely worth to me there's there's a lot in there so there is in that game there and then there could be and it, if you're obviously way ahead of me like you would know where all the wee details as i said before of what what's what could be changed and what could be added and, and why the why they're not added water warner brothers in it and daybreak so it's a good community as well like ike and like warframe and so it is just completely different community if you want to say of people like i'll definitely be asking so well i want to get involved with other people and try and well as you say like try and get better at it. just get the gear and stuff and play through it and join in and do is there there's the raids and stuff as well in it it just reminded me so much of world of warcraft as well Right, will I get started here? I was watching some of the other guys earlier playing this. Yeah, I wish I could give you some extra chaining. I really do, but I don't want to. On DC on DC uh you online, yeah. Like I what where would be the would it be I don't know how to describe this the initial story start but is that like the tutorial at the start, or is it like, does it go right through? There's the Dark, Dark Legends part as well. I haven't been in there yet. Where the, is it called Dark Legends? What's the one that has, uh, It's called Dark DC, isn't it? It has your man John, is it John you call him? Constantine. When I'm on the hero turn, I add a friends and a couple of names. Like go to search and then add the names on friends. I'll note them down. Before I jump, like, I don't want to jump out of this. jump over to that I could was it you tried to add me before I think, did you try to, I don't know if it was yourself who tried to add me.
or join a group, I think it was. When I was on, I haven't been on and since that last video in a while. I hope I followed you back. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely followed you back. I uh, greatly appreciate it. Like, I did notice that a lot of people then did follow me, obviously, from DC Online. And that just proves that the community's pretty good. And I think it's a massive game as well, like. I appreciate the chatting as well. So I can't I can't say enough and the follows. And obviously then I'll join in with you and play in DC. I normally try to stick a game out here, so I do. I was complaining about this one at the start, as you might have known. I love it's playing poker like, without bringing me back something nice. Because I like the the whole sci-fi alien stuff. We'll get started here. An alien ship. That's the source of the gravity distortions. We don't know yet what Cynthia's trying to do with it. Who knows what's on that thing or what it can do. Get aboard. Shut it down by any means necessary. Right. Here comes the fun part. We'll be visible from 140 clicks during re-entry, and we can't juke. But I was saying before I went off this one, I played Clone of Marines 2 on the Xbox 360. It was okay, it was a first person shooter. I think it got a lot of a lot of crap too, so it did. These are the guys here. <laughs> Cynthia's final orders were to prepare Acid Zero, the alien ship, for activation. Activated for what? Nothing good. Fire team, get aboard and stop it. Pathogen jars. They dangerous? Only if opened. We couldn't dent the casing. Signal's closing! They're... unknown! What the fuck were those? Uh, I guess pathogen mutations of some native life form. Fire team, those aren't people. There wasn't nobody you knew. I didn't know. The, the company never told us about this place. There's more! Pivot to engage!
Let's find a way aboard that monster. <sighs> How does it know to interpret it into English and it's Earth? Because it's connected to Will and Yutani's technology? like synths. Might you access that one's short-term memory? More Grab pathogen! Big tracker return, but uh, indistinct! A Leon!
guess it goes on for a bit. like whack a more Is that not straight out of the film? Analysis complete. The synths are working from a location on the upper levels. Then we keep heading up. Try that again. Get back to worse where I was. Fire team, give me a view on that hollow. Movement from the side. I'm at this 
stand up here. What's a frame rate drop? Mierda, Cynthia's team cannibalized yeah, one of their own? Necessary to interface with this instrumentality. They thought they were getting away with creeping down there, did they? Rearming. on this. Check this out. We got more pathogen. Clear them out.
Sensing damage. There are other synthetics nearby. If one has an intact memory core, I may be able to reconstruct the cipher. Purple signal could be a stalker. is cracked. Perhaps another. This one is intact. Stand by. Signal's topside. Get ready. Shit. He got back. Why do you just waste that grenade? Just let them come this. We got smarter. What? That's very off distracting. That um, tannoy system or whatever. More? Bypassing death. That was a frame rate drop because it was spawning them. Did I go this way before?
this, is this something we can mess with? No. The controls are locked. Get us to whatever passes for engineering. We'll take out the power. Stop it from lifting off. Uh, I just want to say, if you could not blow the ship up... Right, important to science or history or whatever. We'll do our best, Doc. Apparently, um, your man that who was it? No, it wasn't. It was Geiger that made the the art, didn't he? Something about this where it wasn't supposed to be such a iconic, like part to the, the the thing, the franchise. But then obviously, then people started questioning it. I think it was something like that. Like it was, it was supposed to look so alien, and there wasn't meant to be a backstory or whatever to it or something like that. And obviously, it was people started sleuthing, if you want to say, like myself, to the find out a bit more. Call this room Vitality Oven to grow, which means to grow a ship. Idiomatically, energy capacitors. Or to grow energy capacitors, is it? Gem <laughs> special in here that I might be able to pick up there. Grabbing ammo. Is that it? I'm supposed to go in the other way? <sighs> Access uh. the control instrumentality. Yes. On the ceiling, the same capacitors we encountered in the previous section. Disable the enzymatic fuel cells. She means shoot the shit on the side. Got near it. Ah, I see a seventeen percent reduction in power flow. There must be more capacitors. Take out those other two. Docker in the room somewhere.
Ah. Bone, protective, withdraw.
everything's half alive. Be just our luck if it heals itself too. Bypassing damage. Does that heal itself? Rearming. we could learn here. <laughs> Was there an option to blow it up? I put you in for a commendation, but we ain't got one for grounding a 4,000-year-old alien ship. Cynthia loaded that thing with an assload of pathogen and was sending it toward Earth. Could be Raylan Yutani would have recovered it safe and handled it all responsible like. Yeah, I can't say that with a straight face. Yo, fuck the company. We're setting a perimeter around the ship. Too early to tell if it'll hold. There's a lot of mutants and xenos down there. Palace Station, the main part where Hanukkah work, is still infested. But no sign of the queen yet. Gracias a Deus. That ain't our problem. Yet, we gotta deal with the Katanga Hive. Listen up. There's a xeno queen on Katanga, laying eggs. Colonel Ship says we gotta destroy the refinery. But the problem is, Endeavor, she ain't got the firepower. Katanga's a whole damn city in space. We could incinerate chunks, but we ain't got enough heavy ordnance for it all. So here's the deal. We're gonna overload the refinery's fusion plant. That's gotta be done from a control center at the heart of the hive. Oh, nice. Grenade launcher. Hmm. Five magazine. Fifty four ammo. Do I want to take that much? I'll definitely fuck him up, like. Ah. Uh. Thirty percent handling on reload for ten seconds. Stability and reload. Battery at normal.
faster reload or more ammo. I don't think the reload's that bad. It is slow, but it's not that bad. It needs to speed it up. It does need a wee bit of a kick. Deal 20% more damage to enemies that have stunned or knocked down. Increase recharge speed of ability by 18. I feel that like this one would be a wee bit more beneficial than recharge of abilities. I don't know. Just leave it. I feel if I use the grenade launch, I'll run out of ammo a lot quicker. And if I keep the smart gun. I'll check what we've got in here. Much. What do you have? <laughs> Great thing about hyper Okay. Regulations require me to state that the Thousand. Italian fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stashed in a hold somewhere. Because that would be wrong. Levels. Hmm. Gonna have to start saving money here. One and one semi round. I hoped we would have an opportunity to speak again when you disabled Cynthia. She made several cryptic statements. In retrospect, I believe she was attempting to warn us of the dangers within the engineer ruins. Uh, you Weyland think? Yutani would have installed programmatic blocks on her ability to discuss the subject. The best she could do was dissuade us against further exploration. Hmm. It appears our advance was the impetus for that. The level of decay in the former Wayland yutani staff suggests they were exposed after our initial contact with Cynthia. She infected them to prevent revelation of company secrets, and to hinder us from accessing the alien ship. 
These actions are consistent with the zeroth law of synthetics, which implies that some humans may be sacrificed if it is necessary to preserve humanity writ large. Fuck, that's fucking dark. <laughs> It is, it is, like, okay, let's Please see. Please understand, I consider Cynthia's decisions abhorrent. Excusing them is not my intention. Colonel Ship dwells upon moments in her career she has been required to make similar choices, when she ordered Marines to their deaths to achieve a critical objective or preserve a greater number of lives. 100%. It must be left to future generations to judge the decisions made here today. Cynthia defended Wayland yutanis investments on LV-895, yet her actions suggest a hesitance to directly engage us. At the end, she did not invoke profits, investments, or copyrights. She warned us of the danger the ruins presented. She specifically appealed to me, and our shared purpose of protecting humans. That is the so-called Zeroth Law. Synthetic life forms may not take actions that create an existential risk to humanity, or, through inaction, permit humanity to face existential risk. The pathogen provokes unpredictable mutations. Uh -huh. That alone constitutes a potential <sighs> a existential key. threat. But the pathogen is only the most obvious hazard. The LV-895 ruins are filled with technologies beyond our present knowledge. We do not understand their function. Likely, we do not yet comprehend all the scientific principles they are based on. Does that mean, like, synthetics are... Well, they're probably not connected that way, like, a hive mind? Because if it was all connected to one AI system, like Cynthia, then they could all function and gain information like an AI system. But it doesn't seem like this here with synthetics in this universe where each synthetic is a standalone unit. That makes Any sense. Any attempt like to interact with an engineered device risks terrible calamity. True, Wayland yutani does not enjoy a reputation for altruism. That was not always the case. Peter Wayland, the company yeah. founder, was obsessed with furthering humanity's progress. He made long-term investments, the terraforming of Mars, and the Heliades-class surveyors. Uh -huh. I do not wish to imply the company has re-embraced Wayland's ideals. However, Pala Station was established two decades ago. It was not intended to turn a quick profit. That's another thing. Synthetics would live longer. More or less forever. Consider, these ruins had been sealed for four millennia when Wayland yutani discovered them. There are obvious questions, which surely occurred to both Cynthia and the company. Where are the engineers? If they still exist, are they aware of humanity? If they're gone, what extinguished such an advanced culture? They couldn't reproduce. And they tried to show that we had life, and they we ruined it. I will retain the briefing file for you. If you ever wish to review, you have but to inquire. Right. I have to get by with what perks I have of weaponry. Yeah, I wish I could give you some extra. Let's rack up the highest kill count in this whole damn battalion. This is the big one, fire team. The Katanga Sino Hive must be destroyed. We stop the spread here. Blue team will advance ahead of you and rig the refinery for self-destruct. You'll follow and keep their path to safety open. <sighs> keep their path open. Select challenge card. Regulations prohibit taking aboard xenomorphic parasites. Any of you come back with a makeup buddy, my lock stays sealed. Must be destroyed. Stop the spread here. Blue team will advance ahead of you and rig the refinery for self destruct. You'll follow and keep their path to safety open.
There you go. A fire team from 3rd Platoon has point and is moving ahead of us. Their call sign is blue. We'll keep the sentry guns up so they can get out again. Coming. Get those sentries up! Hear that? Bypassing damage.
Molina, we'll take care of them. Bypassing damage. Enough. Bypassing damage. They're gonna try to rush. Press them back. for me. Esther, I want you to lock down all doors to forward and aft of our route. My network intrusion will be detected. Expect a counterattack. Free army. Aid kits here. Bypassing damage. Let me just check everything, right? Make sure. There you go. Get took in the behind or whatever.
Die what? They have detected me. Damn it. I need to get this thing to add up. Just use the acid. Let them burn it down. The army. Patching up. I'll cut it. Listen. Almost to the next line covering blue fire team. I'm checking the guns. Sentry guns to starboard, Ren Drive. Restock them.
Foxy. Off me the fuck! Ah, oh, yes, sneaky bitch. Bypassing damage. She's still here. She is. Passing damage. Get off me. Go down. Prowler. What? We're <laughs> just kamikaze and all this now. Look, one of the egg crates the synths use busted open. <laughs> Ridiculous. Don't give us. Again. Bypassing damage. That's some rule, Peter.
secure. Grabbing ammo. Blue fire team, how are you doing? Report? Their fire team faces multiple xenomorph assaults. Two marines injured, one severely. Am I gonna get a health kit here somewhere? No. Don't deserve one. We have to go back. And I beg for a health kit. Another health kit, please. Shit. So low on help. You're at our outer defense perimeter. Big signal. Got one. Clear. Oh, boy. S, I want to lock down this whole damn tower. 
tower. Bypassing damage. Yeah. I would need access to the damage control systems. I like a health kit. That'd be nice. Some ammo. Bigger magazines. Not being charged for as well. We all want something, but people can't have it all, eh? You ask for too much. <sighs> Pros can only be pro life. to Lakasi Tower, enemy territory. Mm -hmm. We have lost contact with Blue Team. Huh. What a shocker right there. We've lost contact with Blue Team, eh? I wonder if they're dead. Hmm. Not getting any fucking help. Or were we supposed to be the cavalry? That was we were supposed to keep the the line open. Watch the eggs. Molina, you read? Give me a sit rep. Damage. You're right, Beta. Must be a suckers and everything. He just walks right into it. Kazi squad.
begin to wonder if that grenade launcher was more useful. Mm -hmm. Is there something over here that they don't want me to get? Passing damage. Uh, I'm running out of ammo here. Passing damage. Thanks, Alpha and Beta. Yeah. Right. Keep tight. Don't let them catch nobody alone. Bypassing damage. It's clearly a hive now, I like. If that isn't obvious. Please install a wireless repeater on that console. That will allow me to override the system. This is certain to rouse idle xenomorphs. Ah. 
Packing up. Bastard. Oh, well, sure I'm sure that'll be easy enough. Just walk over and turn it on, eh? They turned on the TV before breakfast. It was right on me. Another defense point. B, B. Fuck. Calling it out like as if it was, if it was going to do it itself. This one on. Thank you. I will isolate the air ducts by deck. Expect more xenomorphs to be roused by this. Let's rock. Ducks 
large signal. Size of a goddamn truck. <sighs> Just calling the superheroes? Huh? Are they war freedoms? We got the locked down and bottled up. Now we Are they terminators? The yeah, just... Why do we have to do it, the humans? Sure, Alpha and Beta's doing a pretty good, damn good job, -er. We are now officially on search and rescue. Blue team made it through Katanga's last security since, but once they reached the Xeno Hive, they dropped out of radio contact. You're going in to find them. Obviously, we're trying to be this. Check out stuff, eh? Right? AUA Centennial poster. Guess somebody on Wayland's refit crew was a patriot. My abuela said our great-grandfather hated the United Americas, an alliance of every nation in South, Central, and North America, plus most of the Caribbean. He prayed failed every night at dinner. Said it'd be the end of Cuba's own culture. I wonder if we'll even celebrate the Centennial. News from the Corps says negotiations with the Three World Empire are going well. I mean, there'll be treaties tying us together as the United Systems. Well, the Proggies ain't gonna like that. The UPP sees everything as a threat. Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? What's it do? Effective at range handling and zoom magnification. Works. Your sidearm damage is increased by 20% and it's automatically reloaded whenever you reload another weapon.
Each target hit by Blast Wave reduces its cooldown by 10% up to 50%. Micro Rockets now debilitates enemies, causing them to take 25% more damage from area-based attacks and bleed for 8% of their total life over 8 seconds. Can you not change the pistol? No. I have nothing in there. Perks. What's this? Hey, if you happen to a. Okay. 
Regulations require me to state that the battalion fabricators may not be used to replicate any device and or system that has not been licensed for use by Colonial Marine Corps Logistics Command. And I definitely don't have an unmonitored fabricator built out of spare parts stat- I get told off for playing that music again. We told you that 25 years ago, Katanga was falsely reported destroyed. At 2175, Siegson had moved it to the mid rim. Two years later, the colony it serviced was overrun by xenomorphs. Survivors fled to Katanga where the infestation spread. Colonial Marines responded to their distress call. It was a Marine who claimed Katongo was scuttled. A senior staff officer on site conspired to hand the young hive over to Whale and Yutani. Sigsen reported something unusual on the far side of the planet from their settlement. It became the focus of the entire colony's efforts. The Xenomorph outbreak began at that remote site and spread back to the main complex. The colonists ultimately abandoned the surface and fled to Katonga. Some evacuees proved to be infected and the infestation flared up again. There was discord among the survivors, uh, unspecified personal grievances. A few deaths were involved. Sadly, yes. General Delilah Vaughn, one of the conspirators responsible for the Frontier War in 2184. Before her disgrace, she rose to Assistant Commandant of the Corps. There were no reported sightings, not in any star system visited by humans, and not recorded by any vessel in transit. Most likely, Wayland Yutani moved Katanga to a location in deep space, far off the shipping lanes. They used it as an ant farm to breed experimental stock. When the company wanted to accelerate their experiments at Paula Station, they moved it here. If you wish to review... Right. Contemplating whether to carry on here or not. Just getting tired. 
I'm gonna play it in the morning. I'll just say thanks for the chat, Leon. Um, I'll add you when I'm playing DC. Obviously, I've got your names there. Um, I appreciate all the follows and the, the wee chat as well. That was great. They're still about. Um, take care. Happy slaying. And I'm out. <laughs>